Hey, thanks for coming back to the jobbing block. So I posted a test a little while ago where I took a Ziploc bag full of water. I put it in front of a steel level three plate to see if that was enough to slow a bullet down. So M193 didn't perforate a steel plate. Uh, that is, we all know that M193 can get through a level three steel plate, but hypothetically speaking, if you were wearing a level three steel plate and had a camel back on, and you got shot in the back, would it make it through? As it turns out, unsurprisingly, that was enough to bleed off enough velocity and the plate stopped the bullet. But that got me thinking, what other circumstances would water be enough to slow down a bullet to the point that armor that would normally not stop the bullet was now able to stop it? So I thought the next logical thing to test would be level 3A. Definitely won't stop rifle rounds under normal circumstances. But what if you were wearing level 3A pistol rated armor and a camelback and got shot in the back with M193? M193 tends to fragment a bit, tends to slow down pretty fast when it hits water and whatnot. So what happens? Let's take a look. That lightweight armor solutions level 3A aramid plate that I tested before with the 44 meg, we're going to stick a water bladder on it, shoot through it, and see if it's able to stop M193 from a 16 inch barrel. Okay, so obviously that's where it went in. That's where it came through the plate. Hit the gel block here. Came through, yawed pretty hard. Looks like, looks like it might have it's hard to tell whether it fragmented or not. But definitely still trucking. Okay, I can't say I'm really shocked, but I kind of thought there was a little chance that two or three inches of water would be enough to slow that bullet down to the point that the 3A panel could stop it. Obviously not. That's a nice clean hole. And it was still trucking, went through a good six inches of gel or so. I didn't have enough gel behind it to see how damaging it'd be. But the takeaway is <laughs> damaging enough that it could certainly produce a potentially fatal wound. Is six inches ideal? No, of course not. We want to get to at least 12 inches for defensive purposes. But penetration to six inches is enough to tell us that that <laughs> could certainly be fatal. In any case... A camelback is definitely not enough to turn pistol rated armor into rifle armor. <laughs> if you have any other ideas of stuff that you'd like to see me test, leave a comment below. As always, like, share, and subscribe. And if you haven't already subscribed to be notified every time I post a video, you're missing something. No, I mean, like literally, you're missing videos that I post because YouTube doesn't tell you every time I post something. So if you'd like to be notified every time I post a video, Click the little bell icon next to the subscribe or unsubscribe button and check the box to be notified every time I post a video. Have a great day.
invisible beer.